Hi guys, uh, I'm just going to bring you a top tip video today because we get this all the time so it's basically it's better us to put this into a video than to try and explain over the phone. Uh, it's all to do with how the CarPlay and the Android Auto app interacts with your phone and also the issues that you have if you want to connect your phone to the Android Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to give you a little video here and show you a little the demonstration I'm going to show you is basically why it does it and what we recommend in moving forward and resolving this issue. So, this is Android, okay? So a lot of the Android systems come with this. It might be called Z-Link, it might be called Car Connection, it might be called CarLink 2.0. It's your CarPlay and your Android Auto app. So this one, if you're going to be working on a wireless connection on here, which I'll just show you on my phone, how it interacts with your phone is how it starts up. So initially you'll start off with a Bluetooth connection which I'm going to show you on my phone, if you can see that. A Bluetooth connection there, and you notice that it's got Wi-Fi above it. So what it does, it starts it off on a Bluetooth connection, and then once it's connected, it automatically then goes over to Wi-Fi. See this one here? So, that's your CarPlay and your Android Auto connection explained. This Android, which is totally separate to this CarPlay Android Auto, it needs an internet connection to use the likes of Play Store and YouTube and stuff like that. So if I was to do that, go into the Wi-Fi connection, switch it on. Now, how that's gonna connect with my phone is personal hotspot here, right, okay? So, your phone, and this will apply for Android phones too, your phone can't do personal hotspot and Wi-Fi at the same time, so the CarPlay will be one of to start up on this all the time, and every time you try to use the personal hotspot to give it an internet connection, the CarPlay will kick it off vice versa so you're always going to have issues with hotspot and wi-fi connected at the same time now these systems the way they work they always want to connect with your phone automatically as soon as you see your if your hotspot settings are switched on on your phone and your wi-fi switched on on your phone these systems will want to connect to it automatically so it doesn't know how it's going to connect to it predominantly so when you switch the unit on it'll go right okay do we want to connect to your wi-fi for the carplay or do we want to connect to your hotspot and it'll get confused and now it has been knowing to throw your CarPlay wireless connection off. So this is why a lot of people tend to have issues with CarPlay not being working, well, not working the following day. The first question we always ask is, did you use your hotspot on your phone? And more likely than not, they'll go, yeah. And that's the reason why your CarPlay or the Android Auto app starts to struggle with an internet connection, sorry, with a wireless connection. It's because you've connected hotspot to it and the system then gets confused. And now it's that. So if you imagine the, the, the two connections on the system trying to connect to your phone at the same time, it'll then get confused. So sometimes the only way around that is sometimes to do a factory reset, sometimes just a reboot will sense that, and sometimes, just closing down the apps like this. You'll always have two little squares in the corner and you can close down the app. So that's the first thing you do is close down the apps to see if that starts. But at worst case scenario, it's basically, it could need a factory reset. So if you do want to go down the uh, internet connection and doing like the YouTube and Netflix, Play Store, you're going to have to keep the internet connection separate to the CarPlay and the Android Auto Wireless. Good way to do that is just to get a SIM card and the SIM card will go in the SIM card slot with this particular unit some units you don't get a sim card but the majority of units that we do so if you're watching this video and you've not purchased something from us just be mindful if you haven't got a sim card you might need to go out and get a 4g dongle which you can put your sim card into and then we get your internet connection that way okay hopefully that explains a few things and it cuts down our phone calls quite a lot because uh, i say it's quite an issue with that anyway and, but yeah okay take care bye bye